Hi, this is Tim Community. Today I'd like to show you a web application that I designed, architected, and developed for sponsored listings, an advertising product I work on at AOL. Well, it's an internal tool that our sales force uses to generate proposals to advertisers that they want to bring onto our network. Uh, it's a way of searching through uh, all the placements where we put ads on our publishing network and it's a way for them to select topics that are relevant to the advertiser. So essentially uh, it is a single page that loads and from there I make Ajax calls to uh, the back end to get data and deliver the results. So it's a single page application uh, based on web services and APIs. Uh, it's written in JSP and Java and I use MooTools as the framework for handling the presentation on the front end. So uh, you can pick an existing one, or in this case, let's uh, create a proposal by publisher. I click this, makes a call and brings up the inputs. And from here, I have a bunch of filters. I can uh, set, uh, make the cost per click minimum bid. Say I want to filter out any uh, pages with impressions that are less than, oh, I don't know, 20,000 impressions. There are other filters I can use. And this one is a simple way of, uh, of generating a proposal based upon our publishers and our verticals. So let's say we want to go through the entire network on a category arts and entertainment and hobbies. Now since they use this every day, and I don't want them spending a lot of time on it, I've added key commands all over the place. And one of them is Shift S to start the process. So we're generating the proposal. Here's the results, about 20 columns of data. Uh, these are the uh, placements that match. And from here, I can filter further without having to go to the back end again. Let's say I meant uh, 200,000 impressions. If you'll see, those impressions that don't meet that now are grayed out. Let's say I don't want these topic types. Again, they're grayed out. I can do a quick recalculation and get an even smaller proposal. The Salesforce uses this page and this data to look through it. We can sort. I can look at my cost per clicks, see the highest and lowest. You'll see I keep the header static and I scroll up and down. Here's where essentially they can do triage on the topics that they've found and uh, filter out like I just did. And then ultimately they export to Excel. And that's the tool in a nutshell. Well, what, another thing I want to show you is an engineering challenge I had on developing this application when someone asks for a large amount of data. So let's do that again. Create a publisher, minimum bid, 20,000 minimum impressions. But let's say this time I select all my publishers and all my verticals. This is essentially going to deliver every topic in the network. So let's see what happens. Well, the first thing that happens is a dialog box pops up, and I essentially am giving the user a choice. They can back out, or they can go right to Excel, which is ultimately where they want to be. That's easier for uh, the application to process. Or if they're looking for 7,000 rows to be delivered to the browser, this is how I handle it. Please proceed. What I do is I go out and I essentially load it in passes. I ask for uh, the data. I get five blocks of 500 rows back. I turn them into table rows. I append it to the table body in passes. All along, I'm communicating to the user which pass I'm on of how many. This lets them know that this is working and that where they stand in the process. This also stops the unresponsive script pop-up box to happen in most browsers when there's a lot of JavaScript work happening without the, uh, the browser being affected. So that was an issue, and this is how I surmounted it. Okay, we're wrapping up. I say finalizing results, and there. 7,000 rows delivered to the browser, and still, 
relatively manageable. Anyway, thank you for listening. I wanted to present to you how I design applications, how I handle engineering challenges, and I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you very much.